Hey, it's Derek here. Welcome to Jobbot. This is the page that you're going to start off with right when you sign in. And we can just go ahead and write an essay. This video is to give you a walkthrough on all the features that Jobbot has and how you can take advantage of it. So the first thing to notice is that in the middle we have self-explanatory. You can add your prompt, you can add any ideas that you might have. But on the right side we have um, two things, training Jobbot and adding context. So we use train Jobbot in order to tell Jobbot what kind of style you want to write with. And this is where you would upload your previous essays in order for Jobbot to analyze. So I've already uploaded some of my history essays, but you'll just paste them in um, to the text box when it shows up. And we can kind of update the sample set. And when you update it, Jobbot is essentially just going to read through it, analyze your writing style. You can see it um, analyzing the sentence structure, the difficulty, punctuation, etc. And then the great thing about this is that it's actually going to give you a chance to select which parts of your style you want to keep in your future writing. So you can see here, um, I'm kind of getting what aspects of my writing style that Jobbot notices. And for example, let's say I don't want to include this one, which talks about the different perspectives or viewpoints to the New York officials. Um, that's kind of really specific to the essay and I want to leave that out. I can just go ahead and deselect it and Jobbot is not going to use that in the previous essays when I actually use this as a training set. Let's go on to the next section. Everything looks good for vocabulary. Maybe I don't want this, um, but everything else looks good. And then we'll just skip on through the rest and you can see our sample set was saved and I'm going to select that, the history essays, and Jobbot is going to use that style when it writes. On the right, you can see you can add context here. I have a context that's added already. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and add it again. Um, what context is, is essentially sources that you want Jobbot to use and reference when you're actually writing this essay. So I'm going to put this document and you can see it's going to save it. Um, and yeah, you can see it on the right hand side. So how do we actually know that we want to reference this? Um, piece of context. Well, in the prompt, I can write um, write an essay about startups using, and then I'm going to tap at, right? And this at symbol tells Dropbox that I want to use a source. And I can go ahead and click on the document um, .pdf, which is the source that I just added. And this is essentially telling it to use that um, 20, 25 page PDF to write this essay. Um, you don't have to use sources if you don't want to. Um, it's really great at getting a lot of information, but if you want to be very specific, um, if you're writing college essays and you don't want to upload your resume, if you are um, if you have class notes, you can upload those, and you can kind of use that wherever you want. I'm not really sure about what to write, so I'm not going to put any ideas, and I'm just going to keep it at three paragraphs, and I'm going to go ahead and start Jobbot. Um, so Jobbot's going to give me some ideas to start out with, and I'm going to select this one. Um, you can select whatever you want. You can also edit anything um, and bananas, right? But I'm just going to stick with this this piece of writing for now. Then it's going to generate an outline for me. Um, these outlines are very close to what the final essay is going to be about. So I would really recommend editing it to make sure that it looks good. So you can see a pretty comprehensive outline here. And you can see that it actually men mentions a lot about the research paper. Um, for reference, the research paper uh, uses a lot of this terminology like emerging, Davids, and Goliaths, and that came from the sources, so that's really great. So then I'm going to go to the final essay, and you can see on the left-hand side that these are all the documents that I've kind of been making in the past. You can go back to all the essays that you've written before, um, and it's also going to show you what paragraph it's generating at the top. It'll uh, walk you through that process, and in the end, you're going to see that you get your whole essay, right? We had an introduction, body paragraph, a conclusion. Um, follows the outline pretty closely. Talks about emerging Davids, talks about Goliaths. On the right hand side, you can use at um, again to kind of chat with the document. So I can say summarize this and it'll give me a summary. You can also use it to get your next paragraph. You can use it to grade. Um, really helpful to edit your essay. You can also, also use the rewrite feature to make any edits. Dropout will do it for you. And the AI detector to see if you're flagging any AI detection tests. That's pretty much it. If you want to join our Discord, we have a lot of stuff there. So um, do so right here at this button. Thank you so much for watching.